After only a few days of jabbing away at Kevin Hart on the Club Shay podcast, Cat Williams is coming for him, and he's coming for him hard. He recently revealed that he is joining forces with Kevin's ex-wife, Teray, and things are about to get real. Going to change from messy to chaotic if there is someone who knows where all the bodies are buried in regards to Kevin. It's terrible, and she is now having a chance to speak since we all know how dirty Kevin did her, and this won't be a one-off episode where she spills the beans. Kevin Hart should put his PR staff on speed dial because the drama is about to get real, people. I promise that Kevin Hart is going through a lot. She takes a cup of tea and calls it a day since she and Kat are going on tour and will be revealing everything that has been twisted and sick. After Tasha Kay had an interview with his former assistant and she accused him of cheating on his current wife. Ain't no heart. Things have been difficult for him for the past two weeks or so. There has been another scandal in the office since the first one with the first baby. That is, the one in Vegas, correct? Kevin brought Tasha to court, saying that she had attempted to extort him $250,000 in exchange for ruining the interview. There was a lot of big talk, and he was still leaving, seeing stains all over the sea at the Heartbeat Studio and going home. Said he never cheated, but many people didn't believe him because they knew Kevin was having a rough time in the city. Tasha Kay was the least of his problems because he didn't know what was going to happen to him because Cat Williams went on the Club Shay podcast and totally destroyed Kevin. It doesn't mess around when it comes to spilling the tea on some really bad practices in Hollywood. And this time was no exception because, well, he had a lot to say and we were more than happy to listen. For those of you who don't know, Kevin and Kat have been having problems for a long time because as Kat has mentioned, the new podcast Kat laid into Kevin again had a lot to say. He began by exposing Kevin, pointing out that he had sold his soul a few times for money and that he purposefully allows himself to be humiliated by dressing in dresses, applying makeup, acting girlish and all that kind of thing citing Kevin as a Hollywood plant and claiming that he is not as popular as he loves to appear to be. He said that none of Kevin's gigs had ever been completely sold out or even drawn a large queue of fans wanting to see him play. After 15 years in Hollywood, no one remembered ever attending a... Have we heard of a comedian who moved to Los Angeles and, in his first year, had his own sitcom on network television and his own movie called? Apparently, there was a line for him to ever receive a standing ovation at any comedy club. The comedian also had his deals when he arrived. It's interesting to note how quickly Kevin rose to prominence in the industry, given that he was never faced with the same challenges that most celebrities face. Soul Plane, the company he was managing, was someone we had never heard of before. Since that person, what do you believe a plant is? Kat continued, revealing that the majority of the films Kevin worked on were ones he had rejected because he didn't think they were good enough. He said that the movies went through a process of elimination before receiving their big break, which kind of makes you wonder what goes on behind the scenes, doesn't it? Opposite his moral convictions, and any time he attempted to persuade the producers to change a scene in the script that he wasn't comfortable with, they would take the script and send it to Kevin Hart since they knew that Kevin lacked the same moral compass as Kat did for a period of five years. Every film that Kevin Hart... What I did was watch a movie that had been sitting on my desk. All I had asked was, can we take some of this step and fetch it out? I mean, I'm not gay, so it doesn't have to be blatantly homosexual to be hilarious, and I can do it that way. Then they said, oh, no problem, before giving it to the other guy, who proceeded to do it exactly as it was, behaving as though I'm a bad person for sticking to my standards. However, even though it's intriguing, I wouldn't trade it for anything, as he pointed out again. You would understand that part where Kevin told you he wasn't going to wear a dress until they offered it to him, and then you would find out how Kevin had been lowering his moral standards from the beginning, like the time he finally gave in and wore a dress even after he swore. It's okay now. Initially, Kevin said he wasn't going to handle the matter since it was a bunch of horse crap and that you had to get your own. But once he put it on, what did he say? I made my own decision. Returning and, you know, I'm inviting you to join me on the podcast as we catch up after your hectic week. He tried to clap back at the cat for calling him a dumbass, but soon realized that the cat was having the last laugh. Well, good luck, good luck. A clown that belongs in a circus. Hey Kev, you did nothing to support Cat Williams during his three-hour interview yesterday. You did not include a shot clock here. Do you entertain the circus or do you just observe it? It appears that he has more work ahead of him. For those who don't know, Terry and Kevin had a very messy breakup and divorce. 
I just know that whatever they say on tour will be very bad for Kevin. Kat recently announced that he is pairing up with Tara Hart, Kevin's ex-wife, so there's nothing to be concerned about. The majority of Kevin's jokes and skits were written by T, which made the situation even worse. In 2011, because Kevin had been unfaithful to her for the majority of their marriage, there were even rumors that he had an affair with his current wife, Anna. Despite Kevin and Anna's denials of the rumors, their credibility was damaged. She worked side by side with him for years as he was developing his career, writing his ghostwriter routines and receiving no credit for it. Later, he cheated on her and dumped her, which is why I understand why she teamed up with Kat. The timing of this tour intrigues me a little bit, I must say. Kat exposed Kevin a few days ago, and now he's going on tour with Tere. The rumors on the streets are that Tere is really planning to reveal some crazy dirt on Kevin during the tour. The excursion she and Kat are supposedly working together and on a grand scheme to expose Kevin's depraved behavior and ultimately bring him down. The rumor mill claims they have so much evidence against him that they are holding it all together until the tour because they know it will make money. Followers of this alliance have commented that she wrote this man's skits while he had nothing to help him develop. He gave her scraps after he cheated, showing her zero loyalty. She wants her money back? Sis, because he married Ino and gave her the life she was meant to have. Things are going to get really messy for Kevin. Because he established his career, talking about her, and his crack addict. But before you watch this next video and leave your thoughts in the comments, let me know how you feel about this. The journey it is believed that she and Kat are collaborating on a massive plot to reveal Kevin's heinous actions and finally bring him down. They have so much evidence against him. The rumor mill says that they are holding everything together until the tour because they know it will bring in money. It has been noted by allies of this partnership that she penned the man's skits when he had nothing to support his growth. After he cheated, he showed her little loyalty by giving her leftovers. Since he weighed Ano and provided her with the life she was destined to enjoy, she wants her money back. Since he made his name talking about her and his crack addiction, things are going to get pretty nasty for Kevin. However, before you watch the next video and share your opinions with me in the comments, please let me know how you feel about this. The Voyage it's thought that she and Kat are working together on a grand scheme to expose Kevin's horrible deeds and ultimately bring him down. The rumor mill claims they have so much proof against him that they are holding everything together until the tour because they anticipate financial gain. Allies of this collaboration have pointed out that she wrote the man's skits when he had nothing to help him develop. Giving her leftovers was his token gesture of loyalty after deceiving her. She wants her money back. Sis, because he married Anno and gave her the life she was meant to have. It's going to get ugly for Kevin because he built his reputation on talking about her and his crack addiction. But please let me know how you feel about this before you see the next video and let me know in the comments.